and Cass are going to be talking about plotting complex numbers in the complex plane. So by now you're probably familiar with plotting uh, real numbers on the normal Cartesian plane where we have x and y axes. Um, and the complex plane is pretty much the exact same thing except for instead of having numbers that correspond to a point on the real number line, we have points that correspond to, to points or parts of a um, complex number line. So we have, instead of the x-axis and the y-axis, um, we have the real and imaginary. So our real axis is going to be where our x-axis used to be. And our imaginary uh, axis um, is going to be where our y-axis was. And this means um, that, for example, when we have a number uh, like letter A where we have 2 minus 3i, where i is the imaginary number, not just the coefficient, um, that we have to plot something on the real axis and something in the imaginary axis. Um, and then this plot is called the complex plane. Um, so make sure you remember that. Okay, so to plot these, um, it's pretty simple. It's just like plotting um, something like the point 2, 3. Um, so for A, we have 2 minus 3i. And to plot this, we start at the origin, which is still at the very center, um, 0, 0. And now we need to look at how we're going to move in the real plane and how we're going to move in the imaginary. So since we have a 2, this is our real number. And that means we're going to move two units to the right on the real axis. So we're going to go one, two. Now we need to look at the minus three i. Minus three i is our imaginary number. And we plot that just like we would plot the y coordinate of a real point. Um, so we move three units down the imaginary axis, and we move down because it's a negative three. So we move one, uh, one, two, and three, which means this is our point A, which is at two minus three I, and this is our first point. We can follow the same pattern for B and C. So B, we have minus three, plus 2i, 3 is our real, or excuse me, negative 3 is our real number, positive 2i is our imaginary number. So we start at the origin and move minus 3 point, or th 3 units to the left, so negative 3 units on the real axis. So 1, 2, 3. And then since we have plus 2i, we move 2 units up the imaginary axis. So 1, 2, and this is where point B is, which corresponds to negative 3 plus 2i. And lastly, we have C, which is 4i. And we can rewrite that as 0 plus 4i, because if we have a 0, we usually just don't bother writing it, which means that 0 is our real number, and 4i is our imaginary number. Um, and we do that by the same method. So we start at the origin and we move zero units on the real axis, which means we stay on the, on the imaginary axis. Um, just like if we had x equals zero, we'd stay on the y-axis. So we stay on the imaginary axis and then we move four units up the imaginary axis since we have a positive four, which means one, two, three, four. This is our third point, C which corresponds to 4i. So we have point A, point B, and point C on the complex plane.